Would you please face each other and uh, join your hands? These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding you on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Matthew and McKenna, since it is your intention to share with each other your joys and sorrows and all that the years will bring, with your vows, bind yourselves to each other as husband and wife. I, Matthew, take you, McKenna, to be no other than yourself. Loving what I know of you, trusting what I do not yet know, I will respect your integrity and have faith in your abiding love for me through all our years and in all that life may bring us. McKenna, I take you as my wife with your faults and your strengths as I offer myself to you with my faults and my strengths. I will be there for you in times of need and turn to you when I need help. I choose you as the person with whom I will spend my life. From this day forward, I promise to grow with you and build with you a better life each day as we learn from each other to be patient, kind, and selfless. I promise you my love for today and tomorrow knowing that tomorrow I'll love you more than I do today. I promise to always cherish each day together as we build a home filled with love, laughter, and faith. When two become one, we create a family built on love. I, McKenna, take you, Matthew, to be no other than yourself, loving what I know of you, trusting what I do not know yet. I will respect your integrity and have faith in your abiding love for me through all our years and in all that life may bring us. Matthew, I take you as my husband with your faults and your strengths, as I offer myself to you with my faults and my strengths. I will be there for you in times of need and turn to you when I need help. I choose you as the person with whom I will spend my life. From this day forward, I promise to grow with you and build with you a better life each day as we learn from each other to be patient, kind, and selfless. I promise you my love for today and tomorrow, knowing that tomorrow I'll love you more than I do today. I promise to always cherish each day together as we build a home filled with love, laughter, and faith. When two become one, we create a family built on love. Please turn and face the congregation gathered here. I now have the distinct pleasure of presenting to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew and McKenna Van Fossen. You may share a kiss. You may share a kiss.
Some of you have read Matt and McKenna's wedding website and have learned about how the two newlyweds met, in quotations. For those who haven't, I'll give you the Cliff Notes version. McKenna and Matt met her freshman year and his senior year in college. They were both swimming and had a few conversations, but nothing crazy. But fast forward to McKenna's senior year, uh, she was working out at a swim camp at the Gustavus campus, and Matt also happened to be working that same week. I distinctly remember when she came home from camp that week, she was a little googly-eyed, let me tell you. <laughs> she was talking about how cute he was, how fun he was. She's like, I might want to ask him out on a date. Um, but throughout the camp, the crush kind of grew and grew. Um, at the end of camp, McKenna had convinced Matt to go to an outing at the town bar Patrick's. And I guess it worked out because we're here today. Matt, I couldn't imagine a more perfect person and a life partner for McKenna. You two are the perfect blend of calm and chaotic, realistic and romantic, practical and particular. You are able to put up with her dramatization of, well, everything, but we love her for it, and ensure that she comes back down to earth after being all hyped up. <laughs> In this new chapter together, there will be good days and there will be bad days, but I know that even on the bad days, you'll stick by her side no matter what. I seriously could not ask for anyone better for a best friend. What's great about love, relationships, and marriage is learning to grow together. The communication it takes to keep a marriage going is going to be massive, but half of the fun is working things out, talking, communicating, and maybe launching a few kitchen appliances at each other. But really, I'm kidding. Please spare the silver, blue, red, who knows what color KitchenAid mixer they're getting. Today has been a really great day. Family and friends are here. The weather is, well, the weather. And champagne is flowing. If you would all join me in raising a glass, let's toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Van Fossen. Cheers to many happy, healthy years ahead. Matt and I have been swimming together since we were little kids, uh, doing choir since we were a little older. But uh, what's important is our friendship. And uh, the friendship that Matt and I have, have had for years is one that um, I was crying earlier. I was crying earlier because it was cool to see another brother of mine get married. Um, and it was important because it's somebody who he loves, which is you, McKenna, and to see him so happy. Um, we've played laser tag since we were yet little, uh, shared goggles, shared speedos. A lot of Speedos. <laughs> Too many Speedos. <laughs> but, but the point is, we've always been there for each other. And anyway, we're here, and this is love, and I love you, and I love you, McKenna, and all of us love you too. And all of us are so excited that you're making him happy, and we wish you the best of luck for the future of life that you guys will have together. So thank you so much for being there. We'll raise a glass to McKenna for somehow convincing Matt to settle down, buy a house, buy a dog. He's a cat person, by the way. If anybody doesn't know that, Matt has cats. So I don't know why he has a dog. I love dogs. But like, we're happy about it, so cheers. <laughs> cheers. Love you, Matt. All right, a little bit about McKenna. Or Mo, or Banana, we used to call her. That's my nicknames for her. Um, I want to start, we'll, we'll dance later tonight with Zach Brown. And, and the chorus to the, to the song is, there was a time when I thought I knew love until you came into this world. And that really summarizes what happened when she was born. She was baby girl Jones on the, uh, on the, uh, her wristband when she was first born. And I honestly cried instantly when she was born. And I think that was the first time Ann ever saw me cry. <laughs> now, Ann's a, Ann's a superstar <laughs> crying. She, she always has been. <laughs> but that was, that's, I've cried ever since, to be honest. Ready? 
So McKenna Lee, McKenna Lee Jones it used to be, I guess. So another nickname we had for her was McKenna Leaky. <laughs> kind of for obvious reasons as a little kid. <laughs> but our first kid and she was, uh, yeah, we had, we had some fun with that. Uh, we've enjoyed watching you grow, become a teacher, a woman, and now a wife for men. Matt, welcome to our Ohana. Certainly uh, excited to have you join our family. We've got two relatively small families, and now we've joined them together to make uh, one small family together. <laughs> <laughs> now, we first met Matt when McKenna was graduating from Gustavus. We, uh, we pretty much knew Matt was her Prince Charming because he showed up that day and helped her move out of this townhome with six girls that had lived there for an entire year. It was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and he stayed with it all day. It was hot and carried dishes and all kinds of stuff from the bedrooms and bathrooms and cleaned house and stuck with her for the whole day. And we thought, wow. Yeah. That's a keeper. <laughs> so there's a lot of Disney music going on tonight. I've got a couple quotes that, that we have to share. Um, obviously, The Lion King was what McKenna and my first movie. We watched it the hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> and we still, we'll still sit and watch it. Um, I still can't watch that movie with dry eyes. <laughs> and of course, the theme is, can you feel the love tonight? We, we chuckled this week as they built this tent, and Ann and I, I kind of added this one at the end because it was definitely Dumble out here, the, <laughs> putting up the big top. And, and what, the quote from that one is, what makes you different is what makes you incredibly special. And then I, I refer to our Ohana and welcoming Ohana and welcoming Matt to our Ohana. And that's from Lilo and Stitch, where Ohana's family, and family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. So, closing, propose a toast to Mad McKenna. Marriage can be hard work, but it will be the most rewarding work you'll ever do. Cheers.